Hey guys, so let's talk about it. Kevin Hart. Um, so I have to say before we start getting started, so I'm not a fan of Kevin Hart. And if you're a fan of Kevin Hart and you're open-minded to everyone's opinion, you can stay. But if you're one of these Kevin Hart stands who are just like, Kevin Hart's always right, he's perfect, and if you're going to talk about him, I'm going to be hating on you, then you need to go. Because you're going to be triggered, highly triggered, because I do not like Kevin Hart. And I'm definitely not a fan of him after this video. After this video. After what happened in the last few weeks with him and the controversy with the Oscar thing. So, okay. So if you're a Kevin Hart stan, remember, you have to be open-minded to watch this video. If you're not, then peace. <laughs> okay. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new to my channel. I do tons of rants now and story times and hauls. So, yeah. Um, click, click the gray bell. <coughs> and burp, too. <laughs> I burp a lot, too. Uh, click the gray bell. Excuse me. Um... Subscribe, like, comment, and everything. All my socials will be linked down below in the description box. Okay. <laughs> I burp a lot, but I always say excuse me usually after I burp, so it's fine. All's, all's forgiven, right? Right. <laughs> okay, guys, Kevin Hart. So, again, you know me. I don't hold anything back. I'm just going to say it how it is. If I offend you, that's your personal problem, not mine. Okay. So, Kevin Hart. I've um, never been a fan of him. I never thought it was funny. He was kind of funny in Scary Movie 3 and 4, but then he got really, really famous and really blew up and stuff. I was like, oh my god, whatever. Like, ugh, don't get it. He's not ugly. He's not hot. He's just average. And like, whatever. He's kind of short. I don't really care. Like, that's not really having to do anything with this video. I'm just saying, like, to me, he's not... He's not ugly. He's not hot. He's just, like I said, he's just average. He's just average looking. Then he cheated on his wife, allegedly. But, you know, when I say allegedly, I'm just covering my ass. Really, it's just he did it. But anyway, allegedly, he cheated on his wife when she was pregnant, like, what, a year, two years ago? Yeah. And that was fucked up. And I, you know. Um, I don't know. I don't really think he's funny. I'm not, I don't know why he's famous, but he is. And so I wasn't really a huge fan, but I was like, whatever. I, like, dealt with him, whatever. Then this thing happened. The, you know, homophobic tweets surfaced or whatever. They always do. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you're going to tweet shit out, delete it. You know what I mean? Uh, if you're gonna be a fucking dumbass, tweet it. Tweet it. <laughs> wow. Delete it, you know? Or don't even tweet it. Like, don't be a dickhead, you know? Okay. So, he apologized, in my opinion, because he had to. I'm like, what, what else are you gonna do? And then I was like, okay, whatever, whatever. I was kind of was over it, though. I was like, eh, whatever. Like, okay, he's kind of a dumbass, whatever. And then he, like, pulled out of the Oscars, which he shouldn't have done, but whatever he did. Okay. <sighs> Then Ellen came to his defense, like, okay, Ellen, like, whatever, like, why are you on his dick suddenly, like, whatever, but she's, like, came to his defense, and I don't know, I feel like the way he acted during the Ellen interview was just, like, kind of weird, and, like, he didn't really feel, like, remorseful to me, I felt like he was just, like, covering his ass, covering his ass. And then he was all defensive and stuff, and being like, oh, well, I just, I, I just want to be done already, I'm over it. And I'm like, well, it's not done, and we're not over it, like, you are homophobic. And then maybe he grew from it, whatever, I don't really care. Honestly, honestly, I, I would let the whole thing go if it wasn't for, like, what happened next. And that's when I'm, like, really, like, now I'm over, over him right now. So what happened was Don Levin on CNN, which I love, he's gay, he's openly proud and gay, guys. Don Levin, love you, okay. So he said that, he, in his opinion, Kevin Hart should be a gay ally. And I think everyone should be a gay ally, in my opinion, or sorry, gay, LGBT ally. He should be an ally, right? And, you know, even Glad was like, yeah, like, you should be an ally. And, um, slash host the Oscars again, and this is what I think, and then make a 15 minute, in my opinion, you should make a 15 minute like segment being like reading some of your homo homophobic tweets in the past and talking about how, why they were wrong and like how you've changed and like just advocate for like anti-bullying, right? Just for like a five, 10 minute segment on the, on the Oscars, host the Oscars and make it into a positive, right? But no. Um, he dragged this on, and then he went on, I think, serious radio station or something, and said that he doesn't want to be a gay ally. Yeah. He doesn't want to be a gay ally. Are you fucking kidding me? In my opinion, you're either a gay ally, or sorry, LGBT ally. He, he, oh yeah, whatever, gay, I was going to say gay. He doesn't want to be an ally. He said that, it's just like, he pretty, pretty much said, you know, whatever, like, it's just, it's just not his fight. First of all, 
fine, it's not your fight, but just say you're an ally. You don't have to march in a fucking pride parade or fucking like march on fucking uh, the fucking Supreme Court for LGBT rights or something, whatever, but just say you're an ally and you stand up for us. But no, you can't even do that. Now you're just like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Covering your ass, covering your ass. And now you're, now you're saying you're not even a gay ally, like LGBT ally? Like, screw you, Kevin Hart. In my opinion, if you're not an ally, you're against us. So basically, in my opinion, you're against us. You're covering your ass. And you know what I think the truth is? I don't think you've grown from this. I think that those, all those homophobic tweets that you posted, and if you haven't read the tweets, talking about disgusting things, Google the tweets are disgusting and, and, and horrible. Um... I think he still believes those tweets. And he's just covering his ass. Because he's really famous now. This is my opinion. Um, so yeah, I think his true colors came out. And I hope he's cancelled. But um, the truth is, I don't think he will be. I think he's cancelled for now. But I think he'll be, like, popping again in a few months. Whatever. Um, so yeah. I'll be honest. That all, saying this all this... Saying all this, I still think he has a chance to turn, turn everything around for me. If he hosts the Oscars and he does what I said, uh, he makes read some of those tweets that he said and says why they were wrong and say, and says he, he's an ally or whatever on the Oscar tele telecast, tele oh my god telecast, then I will forgive him and whatever, and all the gays and all the LGBT people will like love him forever. But if he doesn't do that, then he's just a fucking douchebag. And a hypocrite and a loser and I hate him so. <laughs> so yeah um so let me know what you think in the comments below do you think he should say he's an ally do you think his holdings are overblown I want your comments be respectful because if you're not respectful I'm gonna block your ass <laughs> but if you're respectfully disagree that's fine I don't mind that so let me know what you think um do you think he should done things differently and how so in the comments below do you think he did what he did. Do, do you think how he handled it was right? Do you think we're just overblowing this over proportion? What do you think? Is he right? Is he wrong? Is the media overblowing it? What are your thoughts about this in the comments section below? Do you think Kevin Hart's canceled? Do you think he should be canceled? Do you think he will be canceled? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below, but be respectful because you know me. If I see any bullshit in the comments, I'm gonna get block happy. You know me, girl. <laughs> I love getting block happy, girl. So. Keep it cute. Um, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, don't forget to follow me on social media. Everything is linked below in the description box. Click the gray bell to be notified second about a new video. Oh, this video is only seven minutes. <laughs> oh, okay, really quickly. I can talk about something else really quick. Speaking of tweets. Oh my god. Logan Paul. I know, right? So Logan Paul apparently tweeted um, the other day. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. So he tweeted like he wants to go gay for a month. And then go back to being straight. <laughs> You're gonna be surprised at my reaction to this. You're gonna think I'm gonna hate him, right? I just don't give a shit, really. It didn't offend me. But I get why it's offensive. Okay, obviously. And I get that he shouldn't have tweeted that because he has all these younger fans who will think, oh, being gay is like, you know, fluid, whatever, right? You can just be gay and straight, depending on the day, whatever. His fans really could be could take that in that way because they're young, whatever. So fair enough. Um, he did say he was sorry, and he, he said, he tweeted, glad said Logan doesn't, Logan, that doesn't how it works, whatever. And then he said, um, well, I'd love for you to have Glad on the podcast or whatever so we can talk about it. Okay, that's his, that's his response to everything. Let's just talk about it. First of all, Logan is a dickhead, and he just says dick, dickhead stuff all the time. So I'm not offended by it, but I get why he shouldn't have said it. And he, sh you know, because he has all these young fans, and it's, it's not a good thing to advocate. Like, oh, being gay is something you can, like, choose, and, you know, fair enough, fair enough. But I'm not offended by it personally, but whatever. Um, but I'm glad, glad, like, tweeted him about it and, like, tried to, like, you know. I mean, this will blow over. Everything happens, everything bad happens with Logan Paul just blows over and he, like, he'll get over it. But, and this is going to be kind of funny, but, like, kind of, like, <laughs> okay, I have something to say. And it's kind of, like, people might think, like, really, but I don't really care. I'm having, like, fun with it, but, like, when I read the tweet about him going gay for a month, I honestly wanted to tweet him being like, you can slide into my DMs because you can be gay with me for a month. I don't really care. Like, honestly, Logan Paul, he has a really good body. His face is like a 5 out of 10, but he, like, he has a really good body. And I think that, like, Logan Paul and me, um, if he wants to go gay for a month, he can go gay for a month. He can go, honestly, I'm open to go gay with him for five minutes, an hour, a month, a year. If he wants to go gay with anybody for a month, I'm all for it. I don't really care. You can go gay with me on this bed. I don't care. Ah! 
You know what I mean? Like, let's do it. Let's do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. You know, let's go get hate for a month. Um, you know, like I said, I'm cool with it. But, like I said, I had a good laugh at the whole thing. I mean, but I get the other side. I get, like, he has all these young fans. They're impressionable, whatever, whatever. So, I mean, I get it. Every time, okay, we're 10 minutes. Okay, we're good. <laughs> you know what I mean? That 10 minute rule. Um, gotta get back. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's just kind of, like, fucked up, though. I mean, he shouldn't be tweeting that, but, you know, these influencers are always tweet tweetly, tweet because tweet tweet they're bullshitters. But anyway, um, he's good looking. I mean, he, I mean, well, his face is whatever, but he's, like, he has a good body, though. So, like I said, Logan, you want to hit me up with the whole gay thing for a month thing? Send to my DMs. We can get a pop in, huh? <laughs> um, and yeah, I think that's about it. So, you know the drum. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Click the great bell to be able to upload a video. And make sure to follow me on social media. Everything will be linked down below in the description box. And Logan, DM me. We can go gay for about, we can go for gay as long as you want. 30 seconds. We good. Mm hmm. Logan, we can go. Make me one of your, in, your, uh, what's it called? You know those girls they hire for like a month or two to pretend to be their girlfriends? Like, you know, Logan and Jake, allegedly. They hire these like spotty girls. You know, usually blonde. Unless if I like, oh, you know, like to be like, you know, the little thoughts for the month or for the year or the, just to get views. Well, I'll be your little thought gay. I don't give a fuck. And I'll be up in your thumbnails and we can do the whole girlfriend, boyfriend, child, what do you even call it? Shit. I can wear a blonde wig. I can be your girlfriend. I can just shit my head off and be your boyfriend. I don't give a fuck. Like, I can be your thought, for, your, your gay thought for the month. I don't give a fuck. I mean, it's cool. I mean, I, I would love the exposure, Logan. So, like I said, Instagram link down below. Just hit me up, you know. Lo local celebrity on Instagram. Just hit me up, follow me, give me a DM, Logan, and we can get it poppin'. I can fly to LA for a month and we can be, and a week we can do whatever gay thing you want to do. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, because you, you got a good body. And you hot. So, I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> Anything I'm kidding, I'm not. Because I'm a little thirsty. Because, like I said, my ex-boyfriends are crazy. Okay, they either stalkers or they got wives. And I'm, I'm playing that shit. So, I know at least Logan ain't no stalker and he is, and he and he got no oh my god I can't talk. He ain't no stalker and he and he, and he ain't got no wife. So that's a step up for me and my boyfriend. So <laughs> I mean he likes to walk through forests and film some crazy shit, you know, but other than that, you know, he's he's a pretty decent guy. Well actually yes, he's pretty shady. But you know, that's okay. A little shady kinda keeps things a little interesting. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe if you know my channel, click, click the great bell, and follow my social media, everything will be below in the strip box. And I'll see you in my next video until next time. I'll let me know your thoughts about the Logan Paul thing and the Kevin Hart thing in the comments below. Okay. Like, subscribe. I'll see you in my next video until next time. Bye guys.